Neuralink chip implanted on humans. This is insane. Pager, the first ever monkey in history to ever play ping pong game. Not just the ping pong, but also with the help of joystick, Pager was able to click on the spot on the screen for a treat of yummy banana shake. And you will be amazed to know that Pager played ping pong just by thinking and used a common joystick too. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and also press on the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics, and future technology. That being said, let's begin. Neuralink is planning to roll out chips in the market which can influence the brain. But what sort of influence? And what level of benefits can they provide us? And with the help of a Neuralink chip, it may become possible to understand what a person is thinking or feeling. So Elon Musk announced his most sci-fi project to date. This week, a computer chip attached to extremely thin wires and electrodes, all of which are intended to be implanted in a person's brain by a surgical robot. This implant would communicate with a computer via a wireless connection to a small behind-the-ear receiver. Neuralink would one day allow quadriplegics to manage smartphones and even provide them telepathy. It would collect electrical signals sent out by the brain and interpret them as actions, similar to existing brain-machine interfaces. Scientists who have spent years working on this technology are excited by Neuralink's promise of a brain-connected gadget that appears like a hearing aid and can be hidden with hair or a cap. Elon Musk is developing brain implants that connect to smartphones. Indeed, Neuralink might be a godsend for people with illnesses like quadriplegia in the coming years, providing improved freedom and moving potentially life-changing technology out of the lab and into the real world. How can it help us? A brain-machine interface is not a new concept. Scientists have been working on it for decades, and it has been implanted and tested in both monkeys and humans. There are some FDA-approved deep brain stimulation devices for controlling tremors in people with Parkinson's disease, and several tech companies have developed their methods for connecting the brain to computers. Facebook, for example, has developed a non-invasive device that allows you to send text messages simply by thinking. However, for a variety of reasons, these initiatives are confined to laboratories. They're expensive, heavy, require training for both the user and the computer, and in the case of an under-the-skull implant, the person wearing it must be physically attached to a computer for it to work. During the presentation, Neuralink president Max Hodak stated that the company's initial product will be able to control mobile devices as well as a keyboard or mouse, though he added that these are goals at this time. But it doesn't sound ridiculous. Schwartz has already worked on devices that allow paraplegic individuals to pick up objects with a robotic hand and receive sensory feedback. He thinks that, in the future, a person with a severe impairment who is fitted with a device, like the one Neuralink described, will be able to function much more independently. Hope that you are now able to help. Now we have to know that it is going through doing and fixing through brain surgery. Is it still surgery on the brain? So, during his presentation, Musk stated that Neuralink's implant procedure will be similar to LASIK when you sit down. A machine does its thing, and you can walk away in a few hours, without having to stay in the hospital. He talked about thread-like wires that would be put under a person's skull, claiming that a robot would bypass blood vessels and inflict little harm. A Neuralink robot is used to implant thin electrodes into the brain. It sounds a lot less complicated than how people presently get implants, in the current system, the skull is split open, the brain is exposed, chips are inserted, and connectors are attached. Now, we want to elaborate. Who will want one? Who will want one? For the time being, Neuralink is developing a brain chip to aid in the treatment of major medical disorders, but Musk hopes that it will someday appeal to a wide range of individuals. However, several experts believe that most people will not be clamoring for Neuralink's brain chip. It's really like a science fiction vision that gets certain people enthusiastic about it. Andrew Hires, an assistant professor of neuroscience at USC, said, Technological advancement would have to go on so much beyond what a gadget like this could currently do. While scientists can read rather intricate brain signals relating to, say, how we move our hands and fingers, Schwartz agrees that they are just getting started. Although it's brain surgery, this chip size is almost equal to hair size. What is the size of that chip? As we all know, the threads are 4 to 6 meters in length. 
making them far thinner than a human hair. Neuralink has developed a method that automatically embeds the threads in addition to producing them. On Tuesday night, Musk gave a significant presentation regarding Neuralink's research, but he insisted it wasn't just for show. The primary purpose of this talk is to recruit, Musk said, encouraging people to apply for positions. However, none of the known technologies could read brain spikes directly and non-invasively, which was Neuralink's goal. The system on exhibit today could be a huge upgrade above past technology if it works. BrainGate employs the Utah Array, which is a network of stiff needles with up to 128 electrode channels. Not only are there fewer channels than Neuralink claims, which means fewer data from the brain is captured, but the threads are also stiffer. The brain shifts in the skull, but the brain does not shift in the skull. This poses a problem for long-term functionality. However, owing to its flexibility, Neuralink's technology is more challenging to implant than the Utah Array. According to the white paper, the business has created a neurosurgery robot capable of inserting six threads every minute. It is like a hybrid between a microscope and a sewing machine in images. It also avoids blood vessels, according to the findings, which could lead to a lower inflammatory response in the brain. According to Musk, bandwidth is the most pressing challenge in working with AI. You can take in information faster than you can push it out with your mouth or thumbs. But you're already connected to a machine, according to philosopher Andy Clark. Neuralink has developed a device that can better read, clean up, and enhance brain impulses, according to the paper. For the time being, it can only transport data via a wired connection, USB-C. But the ultimate goal is to create a wireless system this wireless system goal will be achieved via Neuralink's N1 sensor, which is designed to be implanted inside the human body and transmit data wirelessly. Probably it won't read as many neurons as the current USB-based prototype. Neuralink will implant four of these sensors, three in the motor cortex, one in the somatosensory cortex. It will communicate wirelessly with a device worn behind the ear that will serve as the sole source of data. However, the company is still testing the technology in rats to ensure its stability. However, if it succeeds, the technology is promising. A high bandwidth brain connection inserted by robot surgery. The use of thin, flexible threads to connect neurons would allow for the recording of multiple neurons' activity. The goal is to achieve better, more precise results than past brain-machine interface initiatives. With the help of the chip, we will be able to save our memories and can use these memories for a later time. Interestingly, it will make school easy for everyone. Will you be among the first ones who will get these chips implanted? Maybe not, but we guess you will have to get one when everyone around will be having one. Your colleague will be capable of learning one megabyte of data in a second, then you will have to do something because now we are at the capability of consuming one kilobytes a second. Let us know in the comment section. And like always, make sure you are subscribed to our channel. Thanks for watching till the end.